Hey guys, it's Star Spirit again. Um, today I'm going to cover forum moderating. Um, for Imp, that is. Alright, let's get started. Um, as a moderator, you guys are, of course, given more powers, um, privileges to keep control of the website. Um, sorry, that's my phone. Um, let's get uh, right here. Um, you can get to site activity um, by going to the tab, or you guys can come down here. As a forum moderator, I get these little arrows right here. If someone posts something inappropriate or against our policies, you can delete it or disable comments uh, on something. But you can leave disable comments, you pretty much do so no one can comment on it. That way you can keep it there without too much crap happening, or you can just delete it altogether. But if you're going to delete a post, please take a picture before you do, just in case uh, someone gets mad and whatnot, and report it in the forum. Uh, moderation section or forum administrators administration section sorry I'm getting tongue-tied um, as a moderator as well you can edit forums uh, such as general discussion and battlefield discussion and whatnot you will not be able to uh, um, change or edit any other some not all but some forums uh, news and updates forum and server guidelines these are done by the website administrators um, these you should be able to also edit and I think no I don't know if I have these set up for editing um, because those who are going to be in here don't need to edit and whatnot that's just to keep the integrity of the administration sector um, but as far as everything else goes you should be able to edit I mean no one can art no one can post in these so there's no need to uh, edit those anyways but let's get to editing or actually administrating or moderating in this case um, Let's say global link visual revolving offended somebody. All right, you got to go in here and do so. As a uh, user, you get your same options as thumbs up, a report, reply, and quote. You also get three new options: edit, delete, and admin. Um, this, of course, is I get these two right here: force username, modify signature. But as for as far as moderators go, they you guys get these four options. Hide post, ban IP, ban user, uh, ban user and IP. Actually, I don't know if you get the ban stuff. I'm not exactly sure how that works. But I do know you guys get the delete and edit stuff. So, let's say this did offend somebody, and you need to take it off. Of course, you can click delete. Um, click delete, cancel. Um, if you're going to delete it, please take a picture before you delete it. Um, just that way you have something to back up. Uh, your offense, say it's offensive to someone or someone used a racial slur. You can use a picture to back up your stance on this situation. Um, of course, you can also hide it um, and actually click up here, hide the post here, and then lock the thread. Um, you also get these options up here, just to let you guys know, um, which will allow you to sticky, move, lock, delete, and label threads. I don't think you guys get the label part though, but you guys do get the other ones. Uh, Maybe not the sticky either, but I do know you guys get the move, lock, and delete. Um, that's for sure. So this is pretty much basic administration. Um, let's go, let's click on edit. When you click edit, it's essentially the same as editing your own post. Go it takes you into what the post looks like, the name of it, and you can type in whatever you want. Okay, cool. I typed that in, and you can see it stayed just like it would uh, whenever you edit your own post. Oops, don't want to delete that. So. Yep, it's basic moderation. Not uh, hard to do, and not a whole lot to do either. You just spot something that you don't think other people should like, you hide it, delete it, and whatnot. Of course, take a picture if you're going to delete it, or you can just hide it. I'm just saying. Um, with that being said, that's all. Thanks for listening.